Hello, Mike Kroger here, Finale Inventory. This short video, we're going to talk about importing items into a sales order. So let's say you're going to have a big uh, manual sales order or a big, um, you know, maybe wholesale sales order where you got lots and lots of items to put in on a sales order. You don't have to do it by hand. You can just import it in using uh, copy paste from Excel. So let's go over that real quick. It's exactly the same as the uh, importing items into a purchase order. So if you've seen that video, you can just go watch that video um, or you already know how to do it. But uh, for sales orders, it's exactly the same. So let's go to a sales order. So imagine you want to create a, uh, a ginormous sales order just by importing the items. So I'm going to create a new sales order for us to do that. So I'm just going to open up a sales order. I'm just going to use a system generated order ID. You, of course, would pick the customer that you want it to go to. So I'll send one to Bugs Bunny here. So, you know, instead of typing manually all the items in, you just copy and paste them in. So you do that by accessing the action menu. Now the key thing here is in order to import order items, the sales order has to be in editable state. So if you look at this sales order, it's in editable. It cannot be in committed or completed state. You can't import items into it. So remember, make sure that it's in editable state. And then over here, I can just say import the order items. You're going to get the very familiar paste here for copying from an Excel sheet notice the columns. So you'll need a product ID, you'll need um, a quantity. Now if you just provide a quantity as a column, that's for eaches or open stock items. If you're doing a sales order for cases, then you would want to bring in a case quantity column. Case quantity column only, then it will default to the standard packing on the item. If you have custom packing, then you could also specifically explicitly state which packing you want if you have multiple different packings in inventory. So you'd also want to bring in the packing. We'll go over both of those. So let's take a look at an Excel sheet real quick. So if I wanted to just populate the sales order with um, items, and for right now I'm going to hide the unit price just to show you. So it's as easy as saying, okay, I'm going to build a purchase order out of these two, I, these two columns. So I've got product ID and quantity. So I'm just going to copy it, go into uh, Finale here, paste it right into the screen. It will recognize the product IDs and the quantities that I wish to order, and it will build the sales order for me. Of course, there's our sales order. It just populated everything for me. Of course, it's warning me that I don't have any of these in stock, but we're not going to pay any attention to that right now. But if you notice, we don't have a price here, but that's because these items are brand new. I haven't set up a default selling price, so I could import that in as well at what price I wish to sell them at. So let's go back and redo this import. So I'm just going to unhide that unit price column, and we can copy that in this time as well. So here I go, I'm recopy. I can import right over top of this uh, sales order instance. So I'm going to import, I'm going to paste it now, and now this time I've got a unit price. So this time they will be priced at whatever price I bring in in this column. So as I go next and commit it, I've just now been able to bring in the price that I'm going to charge for this sales order for these items. So that's, um, real quickly, a quick demonstration. Now, of course, these are eaches, right? So if you were selling cases, you'd want to use the other quantity column called case quantity. Let's show you that. So we'll snap back over here. We'll use this case quantity field instead. So I'm going to hide this column and use the case quantity. So I'm also going to bring in the packing quantity, which tells Finale which particular case packing you wish to sell. So I'm going to copy that information, and I'm going to overwrite this sales order by importing right over top of it. It doesn't add to it, it replaces. So remember that. So now here I go. I've just now created a sales orders with cases instead of eaches. That's as easy as it is to create a sales order by importing them.